uh, in the continuation of the first video re uh, regarding the doubts uh, this is the second part of that i had answered few questions last uh, in last video hope uh, all of you have got um, your answers so in the continuation of that video uh, i'm going to ask uh, i want to answer some more questions which you had asked through the google form so again i'm sharing the link in link of the google form in this video so you can go to that google form and fill your further doubts if you have any or you can ask uh, your di personal doubts directly by directly messaging me on telegram facebook uh, and uh, insta page of my channel hope uh, all of you have got your answers so let's start this uh, video now so someone has asked like looking for government jobs as fmg in india so after clearing your mci screening test you can appear for visit exams as it may be on contract basis or uh, on the permanent basis in contract basis uh, on various states uh, um, you you can apply for the jobs according to the vacancy they'll publish or you can uh, also appear for the uh, you can also join any uh, private hospitals uh, on the contract basis as a permanent basis you can you have to if you want jobs then you have to apply for the upsc uh, command medical services exams esic exams insurance medical officer and um, in a in army also uh, um, on short service commission which they uh, conduct every yearly or six uh, month uh, where they will take the interview and uh, medical examination after that um, you, you can join after clearing those both the exams you can also uh, appear for the uh, central armed force uh, medical officer exam and uh, all these exams you can appear and also you can appear in the various state medical services exams where they allow uh, the outside state people also like in haryana rajasthan up bihar uh, jharkhand uh, assam tripura all those states conduct the exams and on many more other state medical services uh, are conducting exams so in haryana and uh, rajasthan they'll conduct first the uh, objective test then they'll do the counseling on the basis of the marks and in bihar and jharkhand or up that they directly conduct interview or uh, do or some more criteria are there according to that they'll uh, do the counseling and uh, give joining to the candidates uh, in gujarat also and in west bengal also so i have uploaded some uh, videos regarding the state medical services you can go and watch that video and in the due time also uh, i gonna upload more, some more videos uh, regarding the various state medical services so i hope you got your answer and the next question is what are various jobs ex job exams that, that i can give during uh, my internship i have told all the uh, exams you, you can also appear during your internship except the state medical services exams where you have to uh, clear your internship then after it you can appear in the state medical services exam is esic vacancy going to be there this, this year uh, actually the esic conduct the exam every two or three years so last year they have conducted the exam so i don't think so they'll but they're going to conduct the exam this year also so hope uh, all of you have got this uh, got your answers those who have asked these questions so now we'll move to the next question so in this question someone has asked that do we have time to prepare for post graduation entrance exam after joining the upsc services and which service is better in upsc cms so i'll start with the ihs cadre if you are joining the ihs cadre you may get postings in the health unit sub divisional hospital divisional hospital or the central hospitals so uh, in health unit you will be the in charge of that health unit and you have lots of responsibilities to do uh, so you will get less time as compared to the division subdivision and uh, other hospital uh, central hospital in health unit you have to see the station uh, you have to attend the station calls which may be just like uh, attending the 24 hour casualty duty and there may be call in the night also or in the evening also in the morning also so uh, as compared to the other three hospitals health unit you will get time to study but uh, less time not as much uh, you'll get in subdivisional divisional or central hospital because all these hospitals have various doctors and uh, uh, very uh, many seniors are there so you just have to do your own opd hours or allotted uh, weekly uh, emergency duties after that you'll get uh, much time to prepare for the post graduation if you move to the central health services and the uh, north delhi and delhi uh, municipal corporation hospitals mainly they have dispensaries uh, so in dispensary you just have to do opd uh, duties not uh, like emergency duties in some hospitals of the uh, delhi uh, municipal corporation hospitals uh, where you will be posted uh, in delhi uh, they have where uh, there you have to attend the casualty or emergency duties so there will be hectic work so overall if you will see you will get much time to prepare for the post graduation uh, while doing the job as compared to the other jobs you will do in different cadre uh, different services uh, which service is better so it totally depends on you and your uh, choices if you want non transferable job then you'll uh, then and you want to be uh, live in delhi only so you uh, you can just apply for uh, new delhi municipal, municipal corporation or, or the municipal corporation uh, delhi uh, cadre 
otherwise uh, if you are okay with the transferable job then you can join the irhs or the chs in irhs uh, many people have asked regarding the in south india about what about the vacancies so uh, i clear your doubt this is uh, that all the south indian uh, zone vacancies are almost full many of my batchmates of uh, south india all got their postings in uh, the other part of india apart from the south so it, very less chances that you will get posting in south because uh, those who all those who are already posted applied for the transfer and their their transfer is in queue so they will not go, if you get posting other other than south also then you have to wait for a transfer at least 3 to 4 years uh, in chs you will get postings uh, at the chs uh, dispensaries but uh, in south also the vacancies are almost full so you'll get posting in other part of the india hope uh, i have cleared all your few doubts and uh, which service is better i uploaded all the details about the each cater of the upsc cms you can go you can go and watch that video after watching the video you can decide uh, which all uh, cater you want to apply or you can or you want to do the job so hope i have cleared uh, this question also so we'll move to the next question so now we'll see uh, all these four questions uh, someone has asked during the training will i get the salary yeah definitely uh, during the training you will get the salary but you will not get the other allowances just you will get the dns allowance and the non practice allowance uh, with the basic salary you will not get other allowance uh, non transferable cadre through upsc same and only one is there that is uh, delhi municipal corporation or the uh, new delhi municipal corporation after md pharma any benefit for mbbs students while joining this job you just will get the pg allowance uh, no other benefits uh, uh, just like mbbs only uh, you will just uh, get extra amount of salary uh, other things uh, you have to do the same i am a md microbiology final year student what are the opportunities uh, i have in central government to practice like i'll talk about the railways uh, in the central hospitals of the railways uh, there is you will get uh, postings mainly you will get in the central uh, posting in the central hospital where uh, you have to see the um, your microbiology lab and do the work apart from all you will get some administrative work also and apart from that you have to attend some emergency duties also so uh, and, and in other uh, central government jobs uh, where they have the multi specialty hospitals you you will get uh, uh, nice opportunities to work there like armed force medical colleges and other like uh, central armed medical forces medical officers or in central health services uh, but in central health services mainly you will get postings in dispensaries so you not not much uh, specialist work there uh, other than that uh, you will get specialist work in the respective cadres which i have told you so um, in the further videos i gonna uh, tell about uh, the non clinical branches uh, what are the opportunities in railways so soon i'll gonna upload the videos I hope that video will gonna help you all to those who want to know about the md microbiology pathology or the pharma you know, what all opportunities they have been in railways so hope i have answered all the questions and uh, you people are uh, Uh, satisfied with the answers if you are, if you have any doubt you can directly uh, answer your questions through the google form which i'm which i going to share in the video or you can uh, put your question in comment section or you can uh, message me on my uh, channel insta facebook or telegram page so i'll try to answer all those questions and uh, i hope all of you have got your answers uh, which you have asked thank you and thanks a lot